Um, this is uh, another fine banjo here. This is actually a rare instrument. This is a 1930s Gibson Kalamazoo five string banjo. Uh, it's, it's very uncommon uh, to find uh, a Gibson banjo made before World War II of any kind, I've been told whether it's four string, five string, what have you. Um, and this is, this is a nice example of, of, a, of a pretty uncommon one. This is a Gibson Kalamazoo from the 1930s, pre-war Gibson right here. And check out that rosewood fingerboard. Really elegant. Um, it's it's not, not a, a fancy banjo by any means, but it's just a very nice banjo. Got that sunburst kind of stain on the back. I do believe it's probably all maple. Hard to say what the neck is. That may be a walnut neck, I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows what these were made of. But it's got that sort of sunburst kind of stain going on the neck as well. Just a nice, elegant, uh, plain banjo. And that figured rosewood fingerboard, you don't see that very much. That's really nice. These tuners on here, I'm not sure if these are the original tuners to the banjo. It looks as though I can see here where uh, somebody had geared tuners on this instrument at one point. Somebody wanted to make a real a hot rod bluegrasser out of this. So they did have geared tuners on here at one point. But uh, we've put back some Somebody's put these antique tuners back on it. These to me look like uh, earlier SS Stewart tuners from the 1890s or thereabouts, but uh, I'm not sure what would originally have been on this Gibson Kalamazoo, but these, these are great tuners. They're in great shape. Really nice antique tuners. The instrument is in great condition. It's hardly been played at all. Nice old tailpiece there. Everything works. Um, you can remove the resonator by twisting these little, these little finger screws here. Nothing to it. Some of the only damage that I see on it is, is here along the, um, along the edge of the fingerboard where the binding would be. Some of the, uh, the, the, the heavy stain has started to flake off there, but it's just a little bit of cosmetic damage. It's got a brand new Remo plastic frosted head on it.
Banjo, no matter what kind of uh, picker you are, if you're a, uh, a straight old time claw hammer or a overhand two finger picker, drop thumb banjo player, it's great for that. If you're a, a three finger bluegrasser and you want to use finger picks on this thing, it'd be great for that. If you're a, a classic style, guitar style banjoist, it'd be great for that too. Just a great all around instrument and a, a nice, uh, Nice rare piece of history. Let's take one more close look at this Gibson Kalamazoo from the 1930s. A pretty, un, you know, relatively unusual instrument. You won't see too many of these. Look at that wild fingerboard. Really nice. Let's look at the back again. Really nice. Okay, everybody, that's all I'm going to do on this Gibson Kalamazoo. Thanks for looking.